So I just wanted to quickly cover a hack I recently found for running BL Heli Suite in Mac OS X. Normally you have to have Windows box to run this. Uh, you can run it in a VM, but I found this to be uh, basically slightly more convenient. Um, so the first thing you need to do is download Wine Bottler. You can get that at winebottler.cronenberg.org. Um, I will link all the steps and these websites in the description. Once you've downloaded that, you need to copy wine.app and winebottler to your applications directory. I've already done that, so I'm going to skip that step. Then open your terminal. I use iterm, but terminal.app will work just as well. First, you're going to run the wine config binary. So, this is a path to your wine app, contents, resources, binaries, wine config. Hit enter. Uh, I went ahead and went with the default settings for this. Hit OK. If this is the first time you've run wine config, you'll see a bunch more terminal output here, and it will create some directories. Next thing we're going to do is change the directory into the wine directory that was just created, slash DOS services. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at all the devices you have connected to your computer and save them to a temporary file. And then we're going to connect uh, your quadcopter with supported clean flight or beta flight pass through for BL Heli Suite. Then we're going to list all the devices again. And we're going to take the newly appearing devices, which are the SI Labs uh, USB UART connector. So to do this, we'll type this ls command. Then plug in your supported flight controller over USB. Run the same command, except save to a different file. And then diff those two files. And here's the important bit. These are the two USB to UART devices that are now connected to your computer. So take note of these. Now what we're going to do is we're going to symlink of these two devices into the DOS devices directory in Wine. So you do that with the ln dash s command. And this is where you'll want to paste each of these devices one at a time. These are the name of mine. They may be different on your machine. And then symlink that to com1. And then repeat the steps for the second device. Now, the last step is to make a reusable application out of BL Heli so that you don't have to open a terminal to start it every time. So what you can do is grab the full path to Wine and then copy the path to your BL Heli suite. Um, you can actually drop this in any directory you like. And a quick tip is open the directory with BL Heli and click and drag the folder into your terminal and it will copy the path there. Now, don't actually press enter here, just copy this. Now, launch Automator. This comes with every Mac. Press New Document. Click Application. Then from this search here, type script. And pick Run Shell Script. Make sure your shell is set to bash. And then paste command we just copied out of the terminal. Finally, save this to your desktop or to your applications directory and call it blheli.app. Quit out of Automator and then you can double click your blheli.app. And there you go. Make sure to have the correct version of clean flight or beta flight on your flight controller and make sure when you connect your USCs here that you plug in your battery.
if that was helpful, please comment below.